Hello, Sophia here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a Christmas slash snowflake eclipse card. So to start, I have my panel here and I have my, this will be my mat and I don't have the same color mat as I do ink. So I am going to make it that color. And the ink I'm using is uh, Catherine Pooler and it's Party Collection Carnival. And this is uh, suede shoes. I'll also be using my Hero Arts. Uh, it's a one piece snowflake stamp. I did take the, the wooden block off it a little, many, many, many years ago. And I'm also going to be using my Hero Arts Infinity dies, specifically these two here. Okay, so to start, I want to actually get my mat, find some scrap paper here. Okay, I want to make a mat for my panel. And to do that, I'm going to get some tape here because I'm probably going to make be, get myself dirty. I'm just going to want to run around the edge of the paper to make my mat. So I'm just going to take my ink here and just swipe it all the way around. And I'm doing this first because I want to make sure it's dry before I start layering um, the parts of my panel on. Oops. Just want to make sure the edges are nice and dark. I feel like the queen with always putting my finger out. <laughs> You'll see me do that all the time and you're going to laugh now that you know that I always do that. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, and put it aside to dry. I don't know why it's so sticky. Okay, and it also, because I'm going to have um, Happy Holidays on there, I want to do a mat for the Happy Holidays as well. So I'm going to do that at the same time. I am going to hold it down with a little bit of uh, low-tack tape because... I'm going to get my fingers uh, inked up. I know I will. And then once I do that, then you know what happens, right? It gets everywhere. So there we go. That was quick and simple. All right, I'll put that aside. Put my ink back on, get rid of my... Okay, and next thing, we are going to take our panel. I'm just going to give my hands a quick wipe here. Now I have this... Um, cleaner spray that I use. It's it's homemade and all it is is I use one cup of distilled water, two tablespoons of glycerin, and a teaspoon of um, baby wash. I just use Walmart brand and it cleans stamps quite, like great. I've been using this for many years and it's never ever affected my stamps in a bad way at all. Um, it's good for cleaning off my surface. It's also good for, I spray it in my hands, rub it on my fingers, and then wipe it off, and it takes a lot of the ink off. So, I will put the, um, the recipe for the stamp cleaner down in the comment section, or the description, sorry. Okay, so let's get out my stamping platform. Now, because we're using a rubber stamp here. I have taken the, it's full of anti-static powder. I've taken the uh, foam mat out of my stamping platform. And because it's going to be heavy, I am going to hold it down, but I also want to make sure that it doesn't fall over when I go to use it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to actually, that's I'm going to take this piece of paper here and I'm just going to tear it, nothing fancy, and I am going to stick my panel down on it with a um, removable adhesive. These are just little dots and to take them off, all you have to do is just rub your finger over them and they come off. Okay, just to hold it down because uh, my panel is just a specific size, it's like four by five and one quarter. And if I just put it down on my platform, I would have no way to hold it down because the whole step is going to go over top. So I am going to use my magnets to hold this paper down. Now, because my stamp, of course, it's going to go on here and then it's going to 
probably fall off the platform here if I try to turn it over. So I am going to put some repositionable tape on it as well. I'm going to get it in place here. I hope I'm in. Let me just fix this. All right, there we go. So I'm just going to lay it over my panel, hopefully covering 90, 99% of it. I'm just going to lay it down and hoping I cleaned it well. So now I'm just going to pick it up. Okay, so now that that's down, what I'm going to do is I'm worried now that if I flip it over, it's going to fall off because of the weight. So what I'm going to do, because I um, tacked my card base or card panel down, I can now do it like this. Okay, so I'm going to get my blue ink here. Oh, actually, I'm going to emboss it. So I need my embossing buddy. I'm going to put some anti-static powder on my card panel first. And I am going to stamp it in blue, but I am going to em heat emboss it with some clear powder. Okay, so I'll get my blue here, and I'm just going to ink up the stamp. I haven't used this stamp for a while, but back in the day, <laughs> I used it a lot of times. It's nice to use, take out your old stuff and start using it again. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna press it down. Hopefully getting all the ink. Okay, let's have a look. Ah! That looks nice. I'm just gonna add a little bit more ink to it. I notice there's some lighter spots down in this area here. It's so pretty. I like doing this in um, white, <clears throat> excuse me, white on navy, and then doing white embossing powder over it. Okay. Of course, I couldn't do this without a stamping platform. Mine is uh, by Hampton Arts. Oh, now that looks really nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna spritz my stamp. Just a little bit, see how that ink just pops right up. And take up as much as I can for now. Okay, I'm just gonna peel this off. I hope it's still, hmm. I hope it's still uh, wet enough that I can emboss it. Catherine Pooler's inks usually last a little while, but I kind of left it a little long right now. So let's have a look. heat embossing and you find oh no I missed something you can actually if you don't move your stamp you can actually go back and restamp it now I'm not sure if a whole lot is actually sticking to that but I'm just gonna try a little bit more just to because it's so pretty when you use clear embossing powder okay Fingers crossed. Okay, let me put this back in so I don't use my heat tool and blow it all over the place, which I have done. Okay. Put that away. My heat tool. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat tool on, but I will fast forward this. I just love how it makes it come out so bright. <clears throat> okay, so now what I'm gonna do, besides wash my hands again, I 
I'm now going to use the um, dies to cut out the rectangles out of this card. Now, um, there's two dies, one and two. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cutting mat. Now I'm going to use my cuddle bug because I do have a big shot. It's across the room, so I just want, but I want you to see me doing this. Okay, now my paper is a little bit warped because of the heat. That's okay. Once we run it through, it should be not bad. And if it's still warped a bit, we can, it'll stick down when I, it'll still go flat when I stick it down. Okay, so here's the middle. Make sure I line it up. Try and get it as even as possible. Hopefully not crooked. <laughs> Another story of my life. <laughs> okay, now that kind of looks okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my low tack tape and I'm just going to stick it down so that it does not slide apart when I move this mat, which sometimes it does. And it does look like I've already moved it. Okay, there we go. Okay. I'm going to take out my cuddle bug here. This cuddle bug has been with me for many years and it's uh, still works. It needs a shim every now and again. So um, if you have a cuddle bug, we're using the A plate. Now you will still need your C plate, the cutting plate, because of its thickness. The magic mat from scrapbook.com is the same thickness as a B plate. So you're still gonna need your C plate, okay? But you are cutting on the magic mat. Okay, so let me just test this, see if I need, yeah, I probably need a shim. Let me just try this one first and see. Maybe two, let's try two. Cuddle bug's old, but as long as it keeps groaning and moaning and creaking and cracking, then we know it's working. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so I'm going to peel this off. See, I love this low-tack tape. It's great. And then I just stick it on my little mug over here, and I can just reuse it. I usually get four or five uses out of it before I have to toss it. So it's actually pretty good. Oh, look at these pieces. Okay, so we've got three pieces here. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Okay, and take my dies out. Okay, so now you see we have three pieces. And I'm gonna take out my mat and now the back, the matte edges are the same color as my ink, which is really nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue this down. Before I do though, I just wanna make, okay, I just wanna make sure I have everything lined up. You don't wanna take this and put it the wrong way and then it doesn't match up to the outside. Okay, so let's get my glue, my Barely Arts glue. I mention it every video. <laughs> I really like it, so when it works, I must have had it sitting here for a while. Let me just stick a pin in it. That usually gets things going if you stick a pin in it. <laughs> okay, now am I gonna do that right again? Okay, there we go. Nice and quick. Just want to make sure okay okay and I'm gonna have a little bit of a border around here okay now for this part see if this fits in here whoops we me got it fits in here see I could have done that wrong <laughs> uh, we are actually okay see you can see some of the um, removable tacky repositionable tape just you can just wipe it off like that same as on here it's on here as well I'm just going to wipe some off because if I put my it might just take my come right off with the adhesive okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some 
um, well, I can't even talk. Some foam adhesive on my on my um, little rectangle here. Okay, now I'm not going to go right to the edge because I don't want people to really see it. So I'm going to be like an eighth of an inch from the edge, approximately. You don't have to measure. And if you go over, not a big deal. What I like to do is I take my scissors and have them on an angle. And then I kind of go under the paper a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. I go under the paper a little bit and then I cut it because that way I don't cut the paper. Okay, now the other side. This is this card is so, so simple to do. So simple. Okay, and again, I'm gonna cut this underneath. Okay, and now I need smaller strips. This paper, this um, foam adhesive is from scrapbook.com and I just, um, Love it. I use, I use it prob probably on every single card I make. Pretty much. Still a little big. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little bit just on the inner part here just to make sure it's sturdy and it, it stays up. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to fit it in where it where it lines up. Come on, people. I'm just going to move it back. Hopefully my head doesn't get in the way. Tricky. You know what? I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this. And then it gives me some wiggle room. Otherwise, this foam adhesive will, it sticks and then it's, it's hard to get it up. This will actually give me a little bit more time to play. Now, did I take it, put it in the wrong place again? No, we're good. Okay. There, now I can move it a bit. And... Look at that, it's lined up. Okay, so now we take this next part and it's just going to go sit right inside the middle here. And it lines up with this, so we're good. It lines up with this. So now I'm just gonna glue this down. I'm not going to pop this up at all with adhesive, foam adhesive. Okay. So it goes down here. I'm just going to make sure it's lined up. Oh, lined up pretty well, didn't it? Okay. Now I'm going to take my happy. I think every video I do something wonky. <laughs> okay. So I'll stick this down and move it where I need it to be. Okay. That's good. And now what we're going to do is we're going to sit it right inside here. Actually, I might just snip it just a little bit. <laughs> a little foam on my scissors. <laughs> I need to get those scissors. I think you can get them from uh, Simon Says Stamp. He has scissors that nothing sticks to them. So it's kind of nice. I'll have to get some of those. Anyways, I did a little bit crooked, but that's okay. And now I'm going to glue this down in the center. All right. Now, doesn't that look sweet? I mean, seriously. Like, you can see the dimension in there. I just love that. Okay, so I am going to get some glue on here.
this isn't really a lot of glue it just comes out really fine and I'm going to stick this down I might have to trim my card a little bit okay so there is my card and you can see look at that dimension isn't that pretty I just love it I think it looks fabulous all right there it is thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it have a great day we'll talk soon bye for now